seems a bit corrupt to me that they're going to abuse their powers and just cause more issues as that's what that's what starts the KOS whenever they start abusing their powers and being on a biased party that they will ban players because they're retaliating against an oppressive military that seems pretty abusive I know, which is, it's not right that they do, but I'm not, it, it, there's also more to it than just besides the tasers. They are abusive. The staff are, hev they abuse heavily, and they are very biased towards law enforcement and mostly the military, that if something doesn't go their way, they will take action against players. As you know, remember the, remember the little war thing that happened yesterday? That was pretty biased for staff to start banning people because they were fighting, they, they were defending themselves. The military was using an over repressive, and it was it, it was there. There was no reason for that. What they did was horrendous, and that should be you know that should be frowned upon by the entire staff team. I, I know the tickets. Yeah, I know. I I I, I know what they what happened. Okay. It was bad, but I feel like there should be an unpiased party there to respond. As it seems like the majority of the staff are on the side of the police. There should be a party there that isn't on a side. Because then, it will only be towards the police, even if they broke the rules themselves. Then who is it? Who is the unbiased party? The one that who is not a part of any group, police or military. Then... How are you going to moderate? I, I saw Clem banning people. I never saw Zaren ban a single person. I saw Z Clem was dishing out the bans, which he's a law enforcement officer, and he was I think he was helping the fight against uh, the group. So how does that, how does that help? So tell me how having a biased party against, okay, well, she, sorry, she does it doesn't help how is having a biased party that only sides majority towards the police and the government help keep balance on the server how does that how does that help at all there is no one there to defend just the common man no, no one to not pick a side to just be there to look at at face value well that is your own fault you are the commander you are one of the highest authority. It's your fault for not training your people correctly and not getting them out. Yeah, that is on you. You are the one that's supposed to be hiring. But no, the police, like you even said it yourself, the police aren't even active enough to defend the city. That is your own fault. You are letting a, you know, a, a, a military take over the role of local law enforcement. That is almost like an, an acting martial law. That is only that should only be used in dire situations, which is not one of those times. I don't. You're going against petty criminals, in some drug lords, but that's mostly it. I I don't see how it is that bad. That you have to let the military take over completely. I mean, I've only, I've only been here for a few weeks, but I feel like just seeing what has happened, it's... Well, that should be something for the military to resolve themselves. Oh, yeah, the military. Well, then that's not really... If they're civilians, and they're...